I seriously need a haircut or to do something with this, look at it. Anyway, we got some big and beautiful species to show you today. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Bug Realms. So this is going to be the reveal of the secret stick insect we have talked about in many videos. Now, the only reason I put it off, and I have said it in previous videos, just in case you're new to the channel, was purely because they were showing signs of pre molt and you never want to hold a phasmid or move it in any way, disturb it in any way, when it is due a shed. So that's why we've had to wait so long, ladies and gentlemen. But before I show you these wonderful species, let's have a look at the top three longest insects you can find in the world that we have discovered so far today. So ranking in number one place is of the Phrygonistra genus, and that is the Phrygonistra chinensis, Zao, I do believe that it was. Second place is the Phobaticus chani, and then third place, and this is what we have got hold of as live specimens to show you today, ladies and gentlemen. In third place, it's another of the Phrygonistra genus. It is the Phrygonistra Husi or Hausi. I'm not quite sure on the pronunciation. Now, this is obviously not the record holder itself um, for third place, but this is the record holding species. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to reveal to you this species. Ta-da! So this is our male. Ooh. Now with this species, you do have to bear in mind they do drop their legs when they are too disturbed. Um, they're very, very easy to, if you know with like tarantulas, if you, you probably follow a lot of tarantula channels if you're watching mine, and a tarantula can drop a leg like in a molt if it's going badly. Well, these guys are very prone to doing that. But you can see here the sheer size of this male. Now he's not as large as the female either, so we will get her out in just a second, but let's just take a minute to just enjoy this beautiful, beautiful species. So we've got the end of the abdomen here, so going up, we've got legs, legs, and these long parts here are the front legs. So I mean he is around about 20 centimeter ish in pure body length. This is not including these massive lengthy legs here. Now, if you folks were looking into getting into some of these, you have to bear in mind the th three times rule. So you will have to have an enclosure at least three times the height of the phasmid. Now, again, the female is larger, so you will need to get yourself a really large enclosure. The enclosure for these guys is that netted cage right behind me. They do also do well in really, really big um, tanks like Exoterras. They do not have to be in a netted cage, but it's easier to get yourself a netted cage to be able to find one in that size. Whereas that netted cage here cost me around 25 pounds. If I wanted an Exoterra to be hitting that height, we're gonna be looking into the, well into the 200 mark. So, shall we have a look at our lady? And we're back. So this here is our female of the species and look at that. Oh, she's got her foot in my mouth. Ugh. Look at the sheer size of this girl here. Now I will get some footage under some better lighting circumstances for you after I've showed the handling part of the video, but I don't really want to disturb her too much. Um, while she's out and about, she hasn't been handled very often because as I said before, she was going through pre molt But check that out right there. As you'll notice, she dropped her leg here. I did briefly mention that before that it can happen. That was slightly stuck in a molt. Now, I reckon she could have probably got free from that molt, but she might have been a bit distressed at the time. Um, so she just dropped the leg like that, and she's perfectly fine. She can maneuver around perfectly fine. And you can see, now she's straightened out those legs. Look at that, I can barely fit her onto the actual camera right now. I actually wish I had my tape measure on me. I broke it while measuring the shelving um, to see if it would fit in for the little YouTube studio. Completely snapped the tip off and it went flying across the room. But um, I'm gonna say that her body, body has got to be near on the 30 centimeter mark before counting these legs on top. But should I get hold of another tape measure, I'll certainly let you guys know the exact length of this beautiful girl right here. 
Uh, another thing to bear in mind if you ever keep these guys is they, this is on my face, is they, they tend to drop as well if they're disturbed and these ones are quite fragile guys. So if you see that, she's done it there, look. So that's where she just fell now. Don't worry, she's not dead, she is playing dead. So she only fell a short distance. She clung onto my leg here when she went down. She's absolutely fine and I'll show that to you now, look. There she goes. Aside from a little bit of a limp where she's missing a leg and she's off. Anyway, I better go get her back and I. Sorry about that. I've got her back now, ladies and gents. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be popping her back into our home now. And then I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening trying to see if I can capture some closer, better footage of them for you. I just wanted to handle today so you could see the sheer size of these beautiful insects. And just to add on a side note, guys, I have witnessed mating once, so we should be getting some over from these beautiful species. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna pop you some clips at the end of this video, just so that you've got some better footage of them. Remember, if you're new to the channel, guys, please help me out by hitting that subscribe button. Like the video if you liked it. And it's a goodbye from me and a goodbye from our lovely lady. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Take care, guys.